Hi, it's Dave from Outdoorsman Dave, but today it's a little bit different. One of my playlists is DIY Outdoorsman Dave. And you might be wondering why Outdoorsman Dave is indoors in the laundry. From your weekend away, that you make sure that you unpack your pack and put everything away straight away, and you wash your stinky tramping clothes and then put them out on the washing line. So, that's what I was up to when I discovered that my Fisher & Paykel Smart Drive, which happens to be a GW609 model, this puppy, believe it or not, is manufactured in 2000. So I think this is what they call a Phase 5. And um, so I guess being a 2000, that makes it a Generation X. But right now, it's playing up like a millennial. I've empowered it. I'm telling her what to do, but it just doesn't want to work. So it sounds like there's no water getting in there. Let's just check to make sure we've got water coming in from the taps. Now, what is it? Lefty loosey, righty tidy. So both the hot and cold are on. And it's making this horrible noise. Now I've got to pull everything out again. So Ooh. Oh geez, I, I don't remember packing that. I'm no rocket scientist, but clearly there ain't no water coming into this puppy. So we've checked this. I guess the next logical thing to do is to pull this out and have a look in behind. C for cold, H for hot, and it's up there as well. Um, I better make sure I turn the water off. So let's just check the cold. Okay, so we've got cold. All right, so there's nothing wrong with the flow of water. Now on the back of these, you can see under the cold, there's this little, um, filter there's one for the cold and one for the hot so i'm just going to check these to make sure that they're not blocked and the cold they don't look blocked and the little filter trays are fine as well we've got water coming into the tub um, so there's actually something wrong with the machine itself and this is when you need to put it into diagnostic mode and so that's what we will do next. Go into the diagnostic mode and um, you will need to have your hot and cold water taps on because it needs to create some pressure um, into the back of the valve. First thing we need to do is turn on at the main switch then we hold the temp wash button down and then push the power button. You'll see this, in my case, a, a light come up on the low, so we just get rid of that. On the earlier phases, they say to push the advance, um, but on this one here, we only need to push the, uh, the spin speed button. This one here, spin speed three times. And there we have it. So I've written out a binary code. So binary code starting from uh, one at this end. And anything that has a light is considered a binary one and anything without a light is a zero. So if we were to read this right to left, it's 01001100. And just to make that a little bit more logical, I've put the binary code on the top. So we have 2 plus 16 is 18 plus 32 is 50 so this is showing a fault code 50 and if you were to have um, if you were to google Fisher and Paykel smart drive and fault code 50 or even if you were to put in a 00110010 and um, you'll see that it says that we have a it out. Code 50, the motor drive module has measured a voltage 
from the valve diagnostic circuit that indicates the hot valve is faulty. The most likely cause is that the valve harness has not been connected correctly or the valve circuit is open. So from here, I guess we now need to go and get the multimeter and put that across the solenoids of the inlet valves and uh, see what readings we get. We're supposed to get, from what I can read, around about 50 ohms.